Okay, so we've got an exponential graph. The um, reason we know that is because it's to the power of x, and we're given two points on it. So the way I'd start this question is to just look at this point here and substitute in the values. So we've got um, 15 equals ka, right, to the power of 1, which is just a. Then underneath it, I'm going to write this one here. So it's 135 equals k a to the power of 3. Now I'm going to think about what I do to the right hand side here to get from k a to k a cubed. Well, I'm going to times it by a squared. So I think, well, what do I do to this side? So I get my calculator and I do 135 divided by 15, which is 9. So I'm going to times it by 9. Therefore, a squared must be equal to 9 because we're times in the left hand side by 9 and we're times in the right hand side by a squared. So we then square root that. Now, this is where it gets interesting. You actually get a positive and a negative 3, but the reason I know it's positive 3 is because if it was a negative, the actual graph would look like this. So if it's a normal exponential graph, which this is, because this passes through 1 here, um, then it's going to be a positive uh, power. If it's a negative power, it means it's a fraction, uh, and therefore it will never quite get to the y-axis. But you don't need to worry about that. If this was asked, it's normally going to be a positive. But <laughs> having said that, it might not be. So anyway... <laughs> Um, I then use that a uh, into the first equation, so 15 equals k times a, well that's going to be 3k, and then divide both sides by 3, and you get k equals 5. So k equals 5 and a equals 3, and I just need to check that, so um, let's do the second equation, so 5 times 3 cubed. So 5 times 3 cubed is 135, so I know I've got it right.